Joining us now is former Mets GM and friend of the network, Omar Manayan. Omar, what does the Max Scherzer signing mean for the Mets right now? Well, it means a lot. Uh, first of all, it means a lot uh, because you got to understand that when you have a couple of guys that not take our offer, Steven Matz uh, went away, Syndergaard went away, Gosman went to Toronto. So uh, you needed to send a statement. You needed to bring in a guy. That's Besides that, you're bringing in a guy that's a dominant pitcher. It's probably between the Grom and him, are probably the two best pitchers in the game the past couple of years. So just his performance, but the message that you send by bringing him in, by him saying, yes, I want to play with New York, I want to play with the Mets, it's it's a message that, yes, the Mets can, can recruit this kind of player. Uh, and it just makes the team much better, makes the team much dominant, especially going into next year with some questions, Mark, as far as health with some of our pitches. So I think it was just a huge, huge get for us. Yeah, especially because, like you said, you know, they lost out on Mats, they lost out on Syndergaard, they didn't bring Stroman back. For them to get a guy like the caliber of Max Scherzer was definitely key to making sure the fan base knew Steve Cohen and Billy Epler were not playing around. And how important, though, were the other signings in terms of improving, you know, the Mets offense? Because that's something that's been one of their Achilles heels a few years later. Well, that's very important. I, and I say this is important. Understand that we lost two very good players. And we understand that we lost, at least up to now, we lost Profordo. We also lost the bias. So those are two guys. So what you're doing is you're bringing in three guys that their offense is different. Uh, you know, yes, these guys have some power, and uh, but they make more contact. So your offensive approach is going to be different than it is when you have bias and when you have Comporto, who did not have the great year last year, but who is a very good player. Uh, but nah, it's a different approach. It's a more of a contact approach, less strikeout approach. These guys have proven to be there's a little there's a speed component to it uh, with Marte. Uh, so there's you know there's more back to ball skills uh, which put a ball in play than strikeouts. So that kind of is you know you got three guys. You have two guys that are off at least you know the table as of today. Things can change between here and hopefully when the season will start. But it's a different offense than it was last year. How much more explosive do you think they can be when it comes to, you know, the hitting and getting runs? Because we've seen that, you know, be a problem year in and year out. Well, they need to be. Let's be honest. I mean, the offense was, still, was, was horrible last year. They need to be. So the offense was not good. Uh, you need to be able to drive in guys. You know, one of the things that we didn't do was bring in guys in the scoring position. So they need to be, you know, more contact-driven uh, and some guys that they had down years need to get back to those kind of years. And I say that like McNeil. So, but the bottom line is it's just going to be a different approach, less strikeout approach, more contact approach, and some speed to it. When Marte, we'll see what the other guys bring. 